We're dealing with many different liberal scandals right now. Uh, but this is in many ways the most ridiculous. You have uh, a person testifying before committee uh, with text messages that suggest that a minister of the Crown was actually involved in the operation of a company he was not supposed to be involved in. And the defense of that apparent involvement of the Minister of the Crown in the operations of a company that was in fact also getting government contracts was to say the person referred to in the text messages was a different Randy. This is a, a tiny company where the partner uh, happens to have that same name and yet the claim was made that this was a different Randy. All right, then you have this uh, a partner come back to, to the same committee and say, okay, you know what, I lied about it being a different Randy. That was all made up, he, he admitted. But then he said the references to Randy in the text messages were the result of autocorrect. This, this, the, the, the multiple different text messages, I think over nine times, and it's just, it's just the, the, the repeated tragedy of autocorrect <laughs> causing so many problems. Members should know to disable autocorrect on their phone, Mr. Speaker, but more seriously, this is obviously um, adding to a litany of liberal scandals, but it is the most absurd, the most comical, the most ridiculous. You, uh, if, you were, if you were writing a story, you wouldn't put, put these details in because they're, they're so obviously absurd no one would believe them.